Hello, I'm Krista McAllister. Uh, my article is Teaching Themes of Care by Nell Noddings. Nell Noddings was born January 19, 1929. She's a feminist, an educationalist, and a philo philosopher. She's a mother of 10, chil of 10 children and a wife for 60 years. She got her bachelor's in New Jersey and her master's from Rutgers University and a PhD from Stanford Graduate School of Education. She also continued to be a teacher there and became a dean at Stanford and many other things. She discusses the organization of the education of today. Um, one of the main things that she has come up with um, that she would like to change is organizing the curriculum around themes of caring. She has listed off many types of caring like self, intimate, intimate others, strangers, global others, the natural world and non-human creatures, and caring for the human-made world and caring for ideas. Many children today are facing violence and bullying. It's widely populated in many schools. And while teachers are trying to focus on the achievements of test scores, there should be a lot more than just teaching. We need to focus on actually caring for our students and in return they will believe in themselves and will care for others. She goes on to point out four key things. First is inclusion, which will expand the student's literacy. Um, and then also uh, it'll expand the cultural horizons and inspire the future of studying. Second is connect the standard subjects. And this can be including it in anything that you are teaching. Um, and that will help them learn also because they're applying it. Uh, the third is great existential questions um, like what is the meaning of life and are there gods and how should I live and what am I doing here. Uh, fourth is sharing such themes that are connecting us person to person so we can all help each other get to our goals. Caring in the sense that she's talking about is caring that is continuous and it is competence and doing your very best to help others and to help yourself. It is loving one another and loving the things that you are learning and growing. Um, and in turn, this will bring positive contributions, our own knowledge and skills, and we will also bring knowledge and skills to our occupation and other people that we pass throughout our day. Because we are teaching other subjects, we need to choose how we're going to mix caring into our curriculum. You can figure this out by organizing and to provide relationships between what you're teaching caring and incorporate them together and the characteristics form of attention and how we as teachers give our attention to others and that's how we can show that we care. Um, and we can also do it by what to teach can be selected as long as we are planning ahead and having it in mind of what the students need. Um, we also need to be smart teachers and realize what is happening in the public uh, world and then we can also address it periodically throughout the year. To be good teachers, we need to be involved and we need to focus on the little time that we have to teach what they need. We need to include topics of larger themes like service and what they can also do outside. And we need to build the, farm, the bond of safety, trust, and then explain how you can greet other people with it and talk to other strangers and get them out of their comfort zone. Doing this and talking about other ways of caring and the social media and all the things that are happening out in the world can bring up some interesting issues and can be a little risky. There can be some controversial subjects and we just have to 
counteract those. And we need to be prepared for them and we can use ethical issues and we need to be aware of students vulnerabilities and we need to also bring up examples of honesty and compassion and moderation and charity to help them through different issues. Schools can be more than just a teaching place. We can also help them and we as teachers are responsible for caring for them and showing them how to care. We ask for smaller class sizes because then you can focus on each need of the children and what they need to get to where their final goal is to, and to show them what they can accomplish. It is our duty as teachers to focus not only on the test scores and while we may be pushing for that we need to focus mostly on the student and showing that we do care for them and in return they will care for others. We need to also build the bond between students and elementary schools focus on that because they're with them 24 7. Middle schools it's a little less but you still get the teacher student bond. Secondary schools they focus on the test scores and getting them into college and not as much as the teacher and student bonds. And it's the teacher and student bonds that are very important to the students' success.